Hey friends, thank you so much for tuning in. I can't believe it. Today, on One Question with Mr. Sharp, Margaret Peterson Haddocks. I cannot believe that Margaret Peterson Haddocks is on the show today. How cool is that? Her Shadow Children series, uh, starting with Among the Hidden, is an all-time classic, an all-time great in the classroom. And I wanted to know from her, why do you think this series, even after 20 years, is so popular with students? 2018 marks the 20th anniversary of the publication of Among the Hidden, the first book in the Shadow Children series. I certainly wasn't thinking 20 years ahead when I wrote that book. I think that's probably a good way for an author to get writer's block to try to try too hard to address the future. All I was trying to do was to imagine and tell Luke's story as well as I could. I do hear explanations from readers of why they like the series. Mostly, I think it comes down to a reason that seems a little sad. Kids can relate to Luke's feelings of loneliness and isolation and his sense that he has to hide who he truly is. I have heard from librarians who work with kids who are incarcerated and from kids in juvenile detention centers themselves that they can really connect their lives with Luke's. I have heard from teachers who work with a lot of kids whose parents are undocumented immigrants that they understand Luke's feelings about being labeled illegal. And a friend of mine who was gay and grew up in a very small, very conservative town told me that his childhood was a lot like Luke's in a figurative sense because he also had to find the courage to reveal his true identity. I wish I could say that when I was writing Among the Hidden, I was smart enough to think of all those potential connections and others that readers have told me about, but I really wasn't. Even more than that, I truly wish that the Shadow Children series could be read only as a piece of speculative fiction with no connection to current real life. But given that the world continues to be in a challenging place, my hope is that the Shadow Children series can also continue to be a source of encouragement for readers facing difficulties in their own lives. And here's my question for you. What do you think makes a book last? Isn't she amazing? Holy smokes. In her new series, Children of Exile is the first book. This is the second one, Children of Refuge. I read the first one last fall, sitting amongst my students during independent reading. And there was this moment in the book where my mind was completely blown. Probably the most shocking moment I've ever experienced as a reader when like everything I thought about a story just totally spun around on me. And I just was like, but like picture complete white face and can picture like a bunch of students just stopping what they were doing and looking at me. It was that intense. I really, really enjoyed that book. Uh, I, and But what is it about those books? Like she's saying, why is, is Among the Hidden still so popular 20 years later? Why is Bud Not Buddy still being read and kids are still falling in love with it? Why is Because of When Dixie still so popular amongst our students and so important in our hearts? Oh, please, 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 I want you, I beg you, please leave a comment below. Let us know what it is it about those books that you think make them still relevant many years after they're published. Thank you so much for watching. It means the world to me. If you are uh, new to the channel and you want more videos about books, uh, interviews with authors, teachers, illustrators, all kinds of fun things about getting kids excited about reading, writing, and creating, click that subscribe button below. Click that bell and you'll get an email anytime I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. You are awesome. Have a wonderful day and happy, happy reading.